bana wa morena re a ludumelisha le 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 botse la kraste jeso aloya so i don't know regard na ko kare shichere potaka mahlong and then re opelefa re terebule terele ka tabelo and then o rena ko e sa dumela re tere gona ko le ntsela modimo modimo <clears throat> From glory to glory, he's changed me, changed me, he's changed me, he's like the sun image to
Paulo. Mudi ma atlejen kade khao khel. Mudi ma ka. Te la aswa tlo sa gao. Mocha pa me ngwa lo khon. Kere na ba. Mudi ma ka. Ma jale fa. Muso ngwa gao. Wena. Mudi ma. Wena. Uri tzibile ne pele lo godi ma lo fa si di tewa. Warebea kanya jadi loka muka. Chao pila gare na lefase nlaka kenu. Iyo mungo liyo mungwe mudi mwaka. Wa mofa kamo humuswa neje. Yuele mudi mo. Uwonche unalelewa kalotu akale. Yuele mure na. Mudi mwaka papa rena rero lebo. Swa kense yele relebo wa ho bulu kile ma pilo arena. Prelebo wa ho khone urefa swaka sao tamo ngwa kungwa gao. Kudu kaba galao re remontwe nye kholo mudi mwaka papa. Ndwa khashano le mebwaya ya subaka wake. Ndwa khashano le lenawa le lo golo la puta golo ena ela gudia bolos. Mudimu waka, mudimu ala rato. Obonji, obe yaka nchiche le chajile la oswana lele la lo kono. Kaba galao rolo mudimu. Tseba mura na khoshi Horeka rolo na Etawe ele man le man Kamo aradire la khetwa ye Pawa tseba mudimu waka Horekubo man wabata gova Wata ediche mura na khoshi Mo online Wala mala penga wana Oba mo Tilo nje di fapa fapa ne Mo walo gon Yele Mudi mwaka oba wana garena Lota utaya cha garena Kia di wana mure Maratawe kholo Ere shokane Koro wana mudi mwaka papa Uipo na gache magare ngare Eta mudi mwaka papa khoshi Yole kare ele wana mure Kwa ilego parumela muprofeta mshankara mshing ye ya bofelo. Wa mufa linchu leo ya kawena ubonego leswaneche puteo ya gao kireke ya gao. Mudimu waka mudimu wa uloka. Riti ile murena mudimu waka papa khoshi leswa kensa yuale. Relepe la aswa tlo sa gao. Re 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 kaya na tila na e uile go wafa mo profeta mo shanka gao khoshi aga papa mo la e jaga wana. Muli mo aga orfe mo ya o swanang orrte rokone ufisa la sa ulo anyo. Ritsebe mudimu waka papa sewebe go orata uritsibisha sona. Ya ukupela mudimu waka papa moyo mkhetua gao aebe wana uchia utaolo ya lefilole. Ebe wana mudimu waka papa uchia utaolo ya chose kama kachedi togo badidira gala. Ebe wana mudimu waka papa khoshe ufitisha kuma nchuka moka togo wola lwa mo. Pelo nyayo mungo liyo mungo are na mudimu waka papa ya atae di jen. Aobe yuwa le mudimu waka papa khoshi. Ore gere tuwa mo rebo yala malape ngarna kamuka rebo lele reru mudimu luki. Ko lewi le mudimu waka papa. Jose kamuka aewe di chofa choko yo mungo liyo mungo are na muren. Salwa lelo ngwanesho asara sasa kadi kopelo. 
morero ka moka le mediro ka moka a e bontshe bo gona bya ga o modimo o bana wena o ka sipona ga tshe o kopana ga rena e tla ba ga le fela ro le boile modimo a ka papa le bo hle ka moka ba wa satlane a e be ka moya o motwe modimo go shia ka papa moya o moghetho ga o tshe taolo pelo nyengwe le yengwe dilo ka moka di direge ka tlase ga tshushumetjo ya le godimo le ne le le matla la morena le mopulushwa ka Jesu Kriste amen re le bogela bana modimo re a re tshe madulo a rena ke no dimela hore le nako e ka sara dimela dilo tshe dintshi so ntsega kopelo modimalo tsho fatseng a re no thaile tsa mo god bless you Now that doesn't necessarily mean by being equal. It said in the walls and the foundation were equal. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a cube or square. There is another geographical measure that the dimensions are the same. That is a pyramid. Four square lath, four square, and the walls are the same. Let me draw it. Amen. See? Think, breath, high. Amen. 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 We're going to get into something as sure as the world. Notice the dimensions of this angle is exactly the same, all of them. Length by the uh, by the height. There's another measure, the pyramid that proves it. This being this away would answer exactly Enoch's sign in Egypt, the pyramid. Was it? Enoch, before the antediluvian destruction, when justification was coming in, he brought forth a sign. And in this pyramid is seven steps going to the king's chamber. What's on the seventh step? If you ever study the dimensions of the pyramid, what comes out to take the oncomer to introduce to the king? What's your station that is standing there? And you'll see the day you're living in the pyramid. Now, God made three Bibles. Now, there's a pyramid teaching. It's nonsense. But there's a genuine pyramid. Amen. See? Notice. Now, God, first Bible, He made three. They have to be everything in a three. Jesus comes three times. Come once to redeem His bride. Next time to get His bride. Next time with His bride. See? Now, notice. How beautiful. See? And in this pyramid was seven steps. And then the king's chamber. And we're in the seventh church age before the king takes his throne. And remember, the pyramid never did have a capstone on it. God's first Bible was in the skies, the zodiac. It starts off and runs every age. The first beginning of the zodiac is the virgin. That's how he come first. The last figure in the zodiac is Leo the lion, the second coming. Just before there is a cross fishes, which is a cancer age that we're living in now. There was a pyramid. After that, Enoch, which testified exactly. We wouldn't have time to go into it, but someday, with God's help, I'll show you. Just exactly draws the dimension of the hour we're living. See? Notice. But this uh, geographical measure now that we have, whose dimensions are the same, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a, a cube. Notice. This would answer Egypt's, or the Enoch's sign in Egypt. In the earth's time of purifying by its baptism of fire... There will be volcanic, such as this earth exploding, and will push up a pyramid-like mountain. See? Plenty of room to do it. 
This whole thing will be changed. The whole surface will be changed. You got it? It'll push up a pyramid like mountain. This would exactly be with the Word. If it doesn't, which it will. Now notice, for in Isaiah 65, 25, where we just read, he said, They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. All my holy mountain. Remember, it's always a mountain. If the walls were straight up and down, the city could only be seen from the outside, from the inside. The throne can only be seen from the inside. But notice, it would be seen only from the inside, but now we see the promise of Isaiah 4, 5. Let's just read it. Are you in a hurry? No. Don't, don't be in a hurry now. We, we, we have too, too particular a thing now. Too much, too much of a, a time that you must understand right here. Because I want to make this clear. And then when we get back to it again, I'll, I'll show you then where we're, where we're talking about. What, when our next study on this at another time. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Watch here how the words cannot fail. Now watch here. In Isaiah, I got it wrote down here if I can find it again just a minute. Isaiah 4 and 5. Now listen, he's talking of the coming of the Lord. How that women would be so immoral. Oh, he said seven women. Let's, let's just read it. Let's hear it. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We'll eat our own bread, wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. That's the end time where we're living now. Marriage, divorce, and prostitution. What are In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. The fruit of the earth shall be excellent and commonly them that escaped of Israel. How that you escaped all that damnation, see. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that's a remnant in Jerusalem shall, uh, let's see, in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. See? Wherein the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughter of Zion. Remember, that's always the bride. See? And shall have purified the blood of Jerusalem. That's the remnant of the Jews plus the bride. See? And in the midst thereof, with the spirit of judgment. Fire. That's always God's judgment. When He makes His final judgment, calls you, justifies you, brings you to redemption, then His judgment breaks forth upon you. And the Holy Ghost and fire cleanses away the sin. Then you're His. Same thing He does to the earth when He purges it with fire and by the Spirit of burning. Now look, listen, are you ready? And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assembly a cloud of smoke by day and a shining of fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. The Lord in that day, upon the top of it, shall create a fire of light to burn upon the day. And it goes ahead and says it'll be a shelter, a rest, a refuge. Notice. Making exactly the speaking of the Bible, exactly. The walls are straight up and down. You couldn't see it. It has to lean. All my holy mountains, He'll create this light upon this mountain. And it shall be for defense. Oh, we sang that song. Oh, that city of Mount Zion. As a pilgrim, yet I love it still. Yes. Now, into those ages, when I reached that city on the hill. See? <laughs> Notice, Mount Sinai was where God descended on top of it when He spoke to Israel in a pillar of fire. He descended on top of a mountain, Mount Sinai, on the Mount of Transfiguration. When He declared, This is my beloved Son, hear ye Him, He descended in a pillar of light and shining brightness up on top of the mountain before Peter, James, and John. And in there He was represented with both Moses and Elijah, the translated and the dead raised. <laughs> Glory! The new city and the new earth. The new creation. The city on the hill with the throne in the top of it. 
the throne up here in the top, and the dwellers all up and down on this mountain, and the wall that's around this had twelve foundations, and each one of them had the breast of stone was in Aaron, which represented the twelve tribes of Israel, and in the gates they had four gates that just exactly like the temple in the wilderness, like the tent was in the wilderness. Notice each one had had the apostles, three on each side. Twelve apostles. Each and it was one hundred and forty four cubics high. One hundred and forty four cubics is exactly two hundred and sixteen feet making each one of those big stones almost twenty foot tall. The breastplate. In that gate, making up that wall that was around the city. Now it the city doesn't rest on top of the wall. Cause the city fifteen hundred miles cannot do that. It's the wall here that you enter in like the gates of the old Jerusalem. You enter through the wall into that and each one of these had the twelve foundations. And each one had the amber and the different stones which represent the twelve tribes of Israel. Amen. And the apostles, each over that big one solid pearl gate, set a name of an apostle. And didn't Jesus said you'll sit on twelve thrones yes. judging the twelve tribes of Israel? Amen. Who set at the gate to judge when they come into the city? <laughs> Amen. 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 There you are. The kings of the earth entering into the city Hallelujah. comes before the apostolic judge. Hallelujah. As Jesus promised. Oh my. On this throne, on top of it, fifteen hundred miles high. The whole world will see the light of the world. Amen. Jesus sitting on the throne on top of the world, top of the church, Amen. top of Mount Zion, Amen. which is 1,500 miles, half size in the United States, and raise his plumb up till you can see him the world over 1,500 miles high. And all up and down here will be the redeemed there will be the houses of pure gold. There will be avenues and parks and gardens and the river of life coming, trickling out from the throne and running down through little chasms and over the terraces. And the tree of life will be blooming in every yard and bear its fruit 12 times a year. Change fruit every month. And the kings of the earth shall come into it and bring their honor. And the leaves are for the healing of the nations. When the kings are living in peace out there, when they go out, they'll pick a tree, a leaf off like that, like the dove come back, that the wrath of God had been settled and brought the holly leaf into the ark. So when the king leaves, but bringing his glory into the bride's chamber here into the city, he'll hold a leaf to his neighbor king and we're in peace forevermore. <laughs> healing of the nations. It's all settled. One time we fought for one another's bloods, brother. And we cherished and hollered and shot and virtued and everything. But now there's peace. Praise the Lord. The healing, not disease, healing is all done. Healing of the nation. Amen. Amen. City with the throne and top. Revelation 21, 23. And they need no light. For the Lamb and the Lord God is the light thereof. Amen. Amen. See? The Lord God is that pillar of fire that followed the children of Israel through the wilderness. And He is ascended upon the throne in that perfect kingdom. When time, the kingdom that Jesus is to surrender to the Father. That God might be all and in all. Jesus sets upon His throne here as our Joseph. And the King is that light that will be on top of Mount Zion. And His holy light will flood the entire city. Amen. Hallelujah! 1,500 miles high and 1,500 miles square with the paradises of God built all through that city. Amen. Streets, avenues. Read your Revelations 21. See if it isn't right. See, They need no light there, for the Lamb is the light. And on the throne can be seen setting 1,500 miles. Uh, it don't just run right straight up like this. It slants off. Like the pyramid. If it'd be half of the distance then, that'd be about run up like this, you see, from one city to the other. Now, if you'll notice, from one side of the city to the other. I could drop a little something here if you want me to. Did you notice a little group here? It's just about that part of circumference it covers. 
Georgia, California to Saskatchewan. From Kansas to the rock bound coast of Maine. That's what's gathered. That's why what's represented right here. About 1,500 miles square. Oh, they come from the east and west. They come from the land afar to feast with our king, to dine. Hold on. Man shall not live by bread alone, by bread, word, to dine as his guest. How blessed these pilgrims are. Even the world has said, I've never seen people like them. Oh, beholding his hallowed face, a glow with light divine, blessed partakers of his grace as gems in his crown shall shine. Oh, Jesus is coming soon. Our troubles will then be o'er. Oh, what if our Lord this moment should come? Hallelujah. It won't be long. Everything's perfectly geographically. Sodom, the messengers, everything's sitting just exactly right. What does it mean? This ain't coming to this one little tabernacle, 1,500 miles square, from the same dimension. Why is it God so fought and cared so much about that little place of Palestine? See? Well, it's just a little spot. But right in there is where the temple is set. That's where the New Jerusalem will break up right there. Olive, Mount of Olives shall cleave part to the right and left. Sure, when she pushes up from the beneath. Not that he says pushing apart like this, it's pushing up. And that day, when he stands his holy feet upon the mountain, notice, on his throne, 1,500 miles high. Remember, Satan tried to tempt him one time on top of a mountain. See? The new city has 12 foundations that's went to 12 patriarchs, 144 cubits being the breastplate of Aaron, 12 gates of pearl, 12 disciples' name. Jesus stand the headstone on the throne. When His saints has crowned Him the King of kings, the Lord of lords, and He's a headstone. I don't have my pocket book with me, but if you'll notice in your pocket book if you have a one dollar bill, they have the seal of the United States, an eagle, on one end, a holding the spears, the uh, coat of arms, as it were. And on the other end, it's got the pyramid with an all-seen eye on top of it. See, they didn't know what they were doing. And on there, it's wrote in Latin, and you'll find out it says, it, this is the great seal. They didn't know what they were doing. Neither did Caiaphas know he was prophesying. There's the great seal. Here it is. See? The city. It's not just a flat cube like this, see? But it leans up so it can be seen. Yes. And upon this holy mountain of the Lord, the Lord shall descend upon top of His mountain. Right. Here He is. That's the reason the capstone wasn't put on by Enoch. See? That's the reason the capstone has to come now. And the mountain will be pushed up. And it'll be the mount of the Lord, and in here will dwell the redeemed. These avenues and big freeways, as it was. Where is the Lord? Parks. And the river of life will draw, run right through it. <laughs> and every house will be made of transparent gold. And the streets will be made of gold. And the trees of life will be there. And will bear twelve manners of fruit. And the kings and the honored man of the earth shall bring their honor and glory into the gates. And the gates shall not be shut by night because there is no night there. In that city where the Lamb is alive. In that city where there cometh no night. Have a mansion over there that's free from toil and care. Yes. Oh, I'm going where that lamb is alive. Don't you see the, the towns, the cities, the houses, the dwellings are, are speaking of that right now. All these natural things are a shadow. Take a shadow at a distance like my pan. Before there can be a, a positive or a negative, there has to be a positive. And you see that shadow look like i got a dozen fingers. But then when you go to get it close together... It focuses down to one. 
And then the shadow fades into the hand. And that's a lot of time people think it's three or four gods. <laughs> You're looking too far back in the early reformations. Hey, come on down now. You find focus into there's one. So exactly. There's one bride. Not a dozen denominations, but one bride. That's the elected out of, every, out of, the, out of the earth that's been predestinated to this. The ones who can recognize their place in the kingdom. On this throne, look, so high. The new city with the foundations, twelve gates. Jesus the headstone. The apostles judging the twelve tribes. The pyramid of Enoch casts no shadow, no time of the day. I've been in Egypt at the pyramids. It's so geographically fixed. And in the dimensions of this uh, uh, great geometrical uh, figure... That no matter where the sun is, there's never a shadow around the pyramid. See how it is? And there'll never be no night there. Amen. Him on top of the mountain floods it with His glory. His glory light will be there all the time. There will be no night there. Jesus the headstone. Now notice. So the redeemed shall walk in the light. We sing now we'll walk in the light, that beautiful light. There's something in us calling out. It's past some death and life. It's because that's waiting. See? That's what's the attribute, what we feel. Truly, this is, are you ready? This is the city that Abraham was looking for. See? Being a prophet, he knew that city was somewhere. The Bible said so. And he forsook the city he lived, and he went over, look where he went. <laughs> exactly where it'll be. See? He was looking for a city whose builder and maker was God. Amen. See, being a prophet, Jesus gone to prepare with the divine hands a divine city, divine architect, for divine bought and people, for predestinated people. He's gone to prepare. Abraham was looking for it. And he professed that he was a pilgrim and a stranger. Amen. For he looked for a city whose builder and maker was God. That prophet, knowing it was somewhere, John saw it coming down. But Abraham thought it must be on earth right then. Why? He met Melchizedek. The king of it. He gave him a tie, which had no father, no mother. He had no beginning of life or no ending of life. Abraham met him. And they took communion. <laughs> right on the literal spot where the city will be raised up the holy mountain of the Lord where the redeemed will live oh my that time just don't stop <laughs> no we're in time wait a while we'll go to eternity oh holy mountain there will be streets of transparent gold avenues and houses and parks if you want to read this Revelation twenty one eighteen. The tree of life will be there. Twelve different manners of fruit. One each month will be born on it. The people who eat these fruits will change their diet every, every month. And it is from far only the overcomers. Do you know that? It isn't for the denominations. You say, you mean that, Brother Brent? Let's turn to Revelations 2 just a minute. Fine. Revelations 2 and 7. Let's find out now where it's really the truth around. Revelations 2 and 7 reads like this. And he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit... Now remember, he's not talking to the Jews now. This is the church. The Gentile. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him that overcometh I will give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Overcomers only. That overcome the beast, overcome his mark. That's Catholicism, Protestantism, denominationalism. Who overcome the beast, his mark, the letter of his name, he'll have a right to the tree of life to enter into the gates where nothing that defiles can ever go in. See? Think of it. Now, just a minute now as we go just a little bit farther. Tree of life will be for the overcomers only. The leaves will be for the healing of the nations. That is the kings that live in there bringing their honor in. When they bring their honor in and lay it before the throne of God, just like the outside, the ten, uh, eleven tribes brought in every one of them a tenth to Levi. See? 
when they bring their honor into the ble- from the blessed land in that, they'll reach from the tree of life, break off a holly leaf or a tree of life leaf, and they'll walk out together. There's no more war. Everything's at peace. The leaves are memorial for the healings of the nation. The same tree, not like Adam. He, there was a tree of life in the Garden of Eden that he might have eaten from if he hadn't fell. That tree of life reminded him all the time that his, new, his youth was continually going on. See? Same with the nations. Leaves will be for the healing of the nations. Notice, not the sickness now. It had the same rights as Adam. It like the le- dove with the holly leaf. It's all, each king taking a leaf. Notice, the river of life. Perhaps many little streams making it up. Now, in this earth, I'm going to close just in a few minutes. In this earth, I'm just going to stop. That's how much more notes he's got. About about 30 pages. In this, in this life, I have never seen nothing so quenching as to be in the mountains and find, as I preached on the other night, that stream bubbling up. It's life-giving resource. You'd be tired and thirsty. Fall down by a good stream way down where germs can't go, way down hundreds of feet in the earth, is bubbling forth pure, genuine, life-giving water. We appreciate that. That's little. Now, the earth has its many streams with refreshing water. When you're thirsting and dying, you get a good cold drink from that, it'll, it'll help you to live. But look where this one comes from. From the throne. There's where it gets its life-giving resources. Comes from under the throne of God, where God sits. All of it, all of this earth, this earth here we live in now, everyone, whether it be Christian or pagan, has temples. Did you ever think of that? Churches. All of them. But this one doesn't have any. The Bible said, and there was no temple there. But the Lord God and the Lamb is the temple of it. The Lamb is the light. The Lamb is the temple. The Lamb is the throne. The Lamb is the life. He is that temple. See, all these temples have an object they're worshiping. But in this city, He is the object. He's with His people. His spirit light floods the pyramid city. Like Peter and John up on top of the mountain, the light covered the top of the mountain, and a boy spoke said, This is my beloved son. In Revelation 21, 3 and 4, the tabernacle of God is with man. God has tabernacled in man by redeeming him by these three processes. Now God is going to redeem the earth and tabernacle in the earth with his subjects of the earth which he brought forth from the earth and through sin it fell but the he had to let it go on but now he sent Jesus to redeem that fallen earth which we are part of though not one hair of your head will perish Jesus said so he said I'll raise it up again the last day <laughs> see why you're part of the earth you know as I had the little joke about my wife telling me I lost my hair I told her I hadn't lost one of them See, they're worthy at. I said, where is where I got them? Everywhere there was a substance, wherever they are, they're waiting for me. That's right. I'll go to them one day. This old body wrinkling, falling, dwindling over his shoulders and aching and knees and, and uh, horse in the throat. That's all right. You got buried in the sea, but the trumpet will wake me. Amen. Yes, sir. We're going to change one of these days. I'm part of this world that's redeemed. You're in the world but nothing of the cosmos. You're in a different order, a redeemed order. Notice, the tabernacle of God will be with man. Notice, the former things has passed away. This, this thing has passed away. This means that heaven has come down to resident with man. Heaven and earth are embraced. Just exactly when the dove came upon part of the earth, which was Jesus... He was the dust of the earth. Man. God coming from that one little life germ by creative power and that blood that was in that, the life that was in that blood ascended back to God but the blood dripped upon the earth to claim it. 
because of the blood that was brought through from the germ cell from Cain. Okay? Now he comes back with a creative power just like he did Adam, creating Adam. Here's the second Adam. And through that breaking cell there, where sin, Cain, broke that blood cell upon the just. See? Now this blood cell, because he killed Abel, but Abel was born sex. But this one wasn't born sex. It was a creation of God, the beginning of it. And it redeemed the earth and all of the calcium, potash, petroleum, cosmic light that you're made out of is redeemed. Not one hair shall be harmed. No, I'll raise it up against the last day. Then what? God comes down to resident upon the earth, which He is a part of it, His own body. He raised it up for our justification. Oh, we're justified by believing that, accepting that. Notice, in types, Jesus becomes, uh, in the type, Jesus becomes man, God, are predestinated to take His place to redeem us. To make all these things possible, notice, outside of its beautiful walls of this city. Now, have you got the city? See, it's a holy mountain. Nothing shall hurt or destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. The city is not a cube. It is a mountain. And the, the width by the breadth by the height are equal. Amen. See? 1,500 miles this way, 1,500 miles that way, 1,500 miles all the way around, and 1,500 miles high. Amen. So it's just a great mount, like the pyramid, and the city is on the mount. Amen. 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 Glory! Amen. There you are! Yes. There's the paradises of God. Amen. The light of the world. Thank you, Jesus. That perfect kingdom, not the seventh day, the eternal one. Amen. See? Not the millennium, the new earth. Amen. See? Amen. While it's going through the millennium, it's going through its sanctifying process. But still must be burned. Amen. See? Which the blood redeemed the people and shows this memorial the, the price is paid that thousand years. But then it has to be cleansed by fire just like you were as delegates of this city the delegation so if you die or if you live what difference does it make if he comes today or it comes a hundred years or a thousand years I'll only rest until my change so old man old woman don't you be discouraged if you are a representation up here in this attribute of God this God if, you have, if you're represented here, you can not, you're in the eternal. And if you've crossed from that seventh day into the eighth, you got into the eternal by the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you're included in this. Now, if you're just trusting upon a sensation or jumping up and down, or I do this, I keep a seventh day, I don't eat meat and things like that, that's going to perish in the Amen. Amen. But this is the eternal. Amen. This is the eternal. Right. The feast after the Feast of Tabernacles. See, the Feast of Tabernacles was the last feast. The seventh feast. We're worshiping now under the Feast of the Tabernacles. The seventh church age. In the millennium, we'll be under the Feast of Tabernacles again in the seventh day. But then after the seventh day, we have a holy convocation. <laughs> Go back into the eternal. How? By the eternal one that came and redeemed us and taken us back. Let us recognize that we were a part of this. Amen. Now, how do you know your part? Because that the word of the hour, the promise of the day, what is it? A restoration back to the first day, the first, and he shall restore the hearts of the children back to the Father. Amen. Bringing a restoration again of the Pentecostal genuine, not sensations. Amen. And will manifest the evening light, the same sun that showed in the morning light. Amen. As promised for the day. Amen. 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 Where are we, friends? Where are we? Just waiting now to get out of the way so Revelations 11 can be made to known to the Jews. Amen. That's right. The rapture coming. Watch. Outside the gates of the walls, spread across the new earth, 
Nations will dwell in eternal peace. Ah, honored kings will bring their glory into it. No sin can be there. No more bobbed-haired women will enter that city. I'll guarantee you that. No more short wearing cigarette smoking. Whoremongers, whores, or liars, idolaters, whatever they was, won't enter that city. No, it'll all be over. Sin will be gone. Nothing to defile its holiness shall enter there. That's what he said. All has passed away forever. Look. Out in its fields and around its gates, the bear will be gentle. The wolf will be tamed. And the lion shall lay down with the lamb. And the beast from the wild will be led by a child. I'll be changed, the creature that I am, with this death working in my mortal body. Old age sitting here, I'll be changed. You've heard the song? The bear will be gentle. The wolf will be tamed. He'll not jump up and rear up and try to kill you. He'll walk with you down the path. Glory. Who's going to inherit? The redeemed. Who will it be? Notice. I can only teach my types now. Notice, Brother Lee. Who come out on the new earth with Noah, the prophet? Those who went in with him in the ark. Is that right? That's who walks out on it. Amen. Those who went in with Noah by his message was the one who walked out upon the new earth after his water baptism. The one who goes in with Jesus now, how do you get into him? By one spirit. And he is the word. You become part of him. What part of him are you? The word that's living at this hour, recognizing. You walk out with him in the millennium. That's the one you walk out. Notice. Not a new generation, a transplanting. Amen. You say, oh, Brother Branham. <laughs> Amen. Notice, if God could raise up Elijah and take him up 2,500 years ago to transplant him back into the earth again to be a prophet for the Jews, how much more can he do the bride? Amen. <laughs> After Noah came out, of the ark. Notice what was said to Noah. After you come out of the flood, just like it was with Adam. Before. After you come out of all the new earth, he said, multiply and replenish the earth after the flood. Notice. Was to be fruitful, replenish the earth as Adam at the first. Now you can see exactly here. Now listen real close. Adam was to multiply and replenish the earth. Is that right? Noah was after the new world was destroyed was to multiply and replenish the earth. Get it? Amen. Now can't you see what the serpent seed is? What replenished the earth? You get it? Yes. All right. You see how Satan got to Eve now. Yes. That's why death has reigned on earth ever since. And heavens, earth, Beast, atmosphere is all cursed of God because of it. That's the curse. Because Satan got to this first. Jesus came to redeem it back to the Father. In order to do this, He became part of it as it just went through. And from that very dust, the part Jesus was Himself being redeemed, through Him all of the attributes of God are redeemed with the earth. He was a spoken word. We who are redeemed is part of Him. Then if you can recognize... See? The Pharisees claimed they were, but you see my first illustration. There was only that by intellectual. They couldn't recognize the word when it was made manifest right before them. They said, this man's an evil spirit. Now today we're called false prophets. We're called every dirty thing could be called. By religious people. See? By great a talented man. See, they just don't understand. See? 
Its water baptism wasn't sufficient to cleanse it. Neither is theirs. Sanctification of the blood brought it back, claimed it. But the baptism of the fire cleansed it, like it did his bride. Like justification, sanctification, baptism, the Holy Ghost. Never promised to raise up a new race, as I've said, but he promised to redeem the fallen. Then that was the, the predestinated in inherit it as he has promised. And he's the unchangeable God. We know that. Remember, God took Elijah after the rapture and translated, transplanted him back among the people to take the place as a prophet among his people pretty soon. He will do that. And has kept him alive these 2,500 years. Amen. He's to appear again. Yes. Notice again, he raised up Moses from the dead. Amen. Where's his grave? Can anybody find it? Read the book of Jude. <laughs> See? Satan, the archangel disputing with the archangel, Satan said, Does the Lord rebuke you, disputing over the body of Moses? And you're Peter, James, and John standing there looking at him on Mount Transfiguration. Amen. Right there in the land where the mountains to be raised up to dwell in. Seeing he come to redeem it. See, there was the raptured church then represented. There was the lamb that are asleep represented. Amen. Whereabouts? In the city. Amen. Up on top of the mountain. Amen. See, there was Peter, James, and John looking on. Three, a witness. There was Elijah, Moses, and Jesus. Amen. That's a heavenly witness. See? And there was Moses, the dead had been raised up. There was Elijah, the rapture was still alive. And it was both represented on this holy mountain. Amen. Amen. And Jesus, the Redeemer, when God up above him, like this, overshadowed him, said, This is my beloved son. You remember, Jesus said, uh, about a day before that, He said, Verily I say unto you, that some are standing here now will not see death until they see the kingdom of God established in power. What was it? The resurrected dead and the raptured saints together caught up together to meet Him in the air with God overshadowed Him and Jesus standing there in the shadow saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I will to please Him. The order of the new kingdom. Oh, brother, sister. Death doesn't change you. Death only changes your dwelling place. See? Remember, Samuel, when he was dead and been buried for two years, he was in paradise. And the witch of Endor called him up and Saul recognized him and she did too and fell upon her face. He hadn't changed one bit. He was still the same Samuel after being dead two years. And he was still a prophet. He said, tomorrow you'll fall in battle your son with you, but this time tomorrow night you'll be with me. And that's just what happened. See? And when Moses returns back in Elijah for Revelations 11, there will still be prophets. Hallelujah! And over yonder, in the last city where the Lamb is the light, I'll know you, Brother McKinney. I'll know you, my people, Amen. my jewels of the crown. When they come from the east and the west to the city, yes. when 1,500 miles square, she'll be sitting there in the city built for square. When you're sitting there in the holy mount where God sits upon the mount and Jesus on the throne and the golden trumpet sounds when Joseph leaves to walk down through the paradise and the children of God fall upon their knees and worship Him knowing they were redeemed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes I grow homesick for heaven, and the glory I there shall behold. What a joy that will be when my Savior I see in that beautiful city of gold. I'm bound for that beautiful city. The Lord has prepared. Isaiah said, and Isaiah 9, 6, And of His peace and of His increase there shall be no end. Amen. Amen. The government shall be upon His shoulders. Amen. His name will be called Counselor, Prince of Peace, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. And the government shall be upon His shoulders and of His increase and of His peace there is no end. Amen. Even the animals is there. Oh, my. The bear will be gentle, and the wolf will be tame, and the lion shall lay down, 
by the lamb and the beast from the wild will be led by a child but I'm going to be changed I'll be changed from this creature that I am on that day comes for I'm going to that city I'm bound for that beautiful city I feel the redeeming power in my whole heart now this isn't so loud throw my life away I've taught others deceitful things. But when I look down and see that the promise He made of this day and see it vindicated, and look at this 1,500 mile square congregation set here, an elect that's been called from denominations and races and creeds and things, gathered together as I see the Word vindicating itself, I know beyond one shadow of doubt the jewels of my crown will outshine everything in the world of that day. There will come a time, people, we're not gathering here for in vain. We're only waiting for that time. Amen. It is very, very late. But Jesus is still very, very near. And His glory is wonderful. His name shall be called Counselor. That city, can you see it? Amen. There's where the bride and the groom will settle and never again to... Now, if you think it's wonderful when we drive hundreds of miles to sit here and feed on His Word, which this is only a shadow, what will it be when we live in the city with Him? When I live next door neighbor to you, and when we eat of those trees, and we will walk in those streets, when we walk up those streets of gold to the fountain, drink from the fountain, walk into the paradises of God with angels hovering the earth singing the anthems, Oh, what a day that will be. It's worth all. The road seems rugged sometimes. It gets hard. But oh, it'll be so little when I see Him. So little. What will the bad names and things that they've said, what will that be when I see Him in that beautiful, beautiful city of God? Let's bow our heads. I'm bound for that beautiful city my Lord has prepared for His own where all the redeemed of all ages sang Gloria round the white throne. Sometimes I go home sick for heaven and its glories I there shall behold. What a joy that will be when my Savior I see in that beautiful city of gold on the island of Patmos, John saw it. Dear Jesus, this hope, my hope's built on nothing less, Lord. That's the mother of my heart. That city, the great king. God, don't let one here perish, please. May we examine our lives again today, Lord, waiting for the coming of the Lord where all of them redeemed. How yonder in that great Colosseum in Rome where them Christians is eat up the lines. Shall the dust break for someday? There will be no graveyards on the hillside of glory. No doorknobs will hold a funeral wreath. No tear will spot upon it. No, no. No heat up sod. No storms will strike it. It will all be glorious there. Help us, Lord. If there is one here that's called to this wedding supper of the Lamb, this thousand years of millennium reign and to then enter into the city after the honeymoon is over the millennium is merely the honeymoon then she the bride takes his bridegroom takes his bride home it's hers her bridegroom his bride oh he's gone to prepare a house since he's become engaged 
May we be true to Him who is the Word, for He is the Word. Regardless of how others try to sass us, keep us away from it. Lord, draw me nearer. For sometimes I grow homesick for heaven, and its glory I there shall be Oh, What a joy that will be when my Savior I see. In that beautiful city of gold, the future home of the groom and bride. He's coming back into the wedding supper. It's going to be three and a half days. Then return again in the millennium on our honeymoon. And then he's going to bring the city into view like the bridegroom taking the bride to her surprise how the little bride stands there in awe as she looks at her future home and by faith today Lord we see it yonder it'll be right here on this earth you promised it your church will be completely redeemed one of these days and then your world will be redeemed the rest of the particles but first you have redeemed your people their bodies that's made up of the world. Help us, God. If there's one here who isn't just exactly sure of that, Lord, may they receive it just now. I know it's been long and hot, but people, we won't always be standing here. I won't always be your pastor. Let's make it sure. Is there a way, Brother Branham? Yes. Become a part of the Word. A part of the Word of today. Can't be a part of the Word of Moses' day. That part's done made up. That was the feet. We're at the head now. This is Christ. Not the arms time back in Luther. No, this is the head time. Christ, the head stone, comes to the body. If you're not just feel exactly right about it, wherever you can, Will you raise up your hand just so I can see you let everybody else keep your head down? God bless you. Say, remember me in prayer, Brother Branham. I want to be there so bad. I, I don't want to miss it, Brother Branham. I, I'm checking. I'm doing everything I can, but pray for me now, will you? God bless you. While you're thinking of it now, just pray. Say, God, it's in your own heart. See? If you feel something t- tingling at your heart, that's what it is. It's that attribute trying to declare itself. I am bound for that beautiful city. My Lord has prepared for His own. Where all the redeemed of all ages We'll sing glory around the white throne. Sometimes I grow homesick for heaven, and the glories I there shall be whole. What a joy that will be when my Savior I see. In that beautiful city of gold. Heavenly Father, take us now, Lord. Let the great shepherd, the great redeeming shepherd, the great shepherd who left glory knowing that some of the attributes was lost on the great valleys of sin, or the wolves and the, the animals would soon devour that little sheep. But he left the golden carters, came down into the earth and has made one of us so he could declare the love of God to us. There he found them, some of them in denominations, some of them in the house of ill fame, some of them on the streets blind, some of them in the hedges and highways. 
But he redeemed everyone that the Father had ordained him to redeem. And he commissioned us that we would live this part of the Word for our ages. And we see the great reformation of Luther in that age and of Wesley and the Pentecostal. Now we're looking for the headstone of the city. Oh God, we know the age and the promise that we're given for this day. How that this is to be restored again. The evening light shall ripen the fruit of it. And it shall come to pass that there will be a day that cannot be day or night. It can be called, but in the evening time it shall be light. That same glorious Son of God manifesting Himself in human flesh up here on the earth, making the promise live itself exactly, blinded to the eyes of the Pharisees and Sadducees and Herodians and so forth. And today it repeats again the Word being manifested just like it was. The Word knowing the secret of the heart just exactly the way it was as the Scripture said which cannot be broken. Help us, God, to realize it. Help these now who raise their hands. May they buckle up a little tighter, shod themselves with the gospel of peace, put on the full armor of God, pull the helmet down, take the shield of faith, march forward from the day on. Grant it, Lord, just a little while we'll be summoned. Then the rapture will come. Just a little bitty group like Enoch will be taken up. Then the remnant of the woman's seed that keep the commandments of God, Jews, have the testimony of Jesus Christ, Gentiles, will be hunted down like dogs and shall give their life for their testimony. Then one great morning, the break of the millennium for the, the honeymoon will start. And then the rest of the dead live not for the end of the thousand years. Then at the end of the thousand years, there was a judgment showing that Ham was in the ark and Ham is still there in the remnant. Ones that heard it and rejected it will have to be judged. Now grant it, Lord, that we'll not be considered among them, but will be in the call to the wedding supper. For we do recognize Jesus among us today. We're going in with Him, out of the world, into Him. Let us walk forth in that city. Come out with Him. I'm getting old, Lord. I ain't got many more sermons to preach. I'm certainly trusting you. I'm looking for that city like my father Abraham did. There's something in me tells it's coming. I'm trying everywhere, Lord, to spread the light. Call. Let not one of these, Lord, how beautifully a while ago you reveal that to me from the circumference of about 1,500 miles, just one here and there are set together today. They're gathered to one little spot waiting for that city to appear. We profess that we're pilgrims and strangers. We're outcasts. The heathen, the world laughs and makes fun. The religious denominations ridicule. But we are not moved by such things. Make us part of the Word, Lord. Unmovable. It shall come to pass in the last days. May it be us, Lord. May we be considered among them. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You believe it? Amen. Let's raise our hands like this. I'm bound for that beautiful city. My Lord has prepared for His own where all the redeemed of all ages will sing glory around the white stone. There shall be hope. What a joy that will be when my Savior I see in that beautiful city. 
Oh, no. Now, if we're to dwell in that city together, just shake hands with somebody. I say, God bless you, pilgrim. Where are you from? Louisiana, Georgia, Mississippi. I'm a pilgrim, too. I'm looking for that city. And its glories are there shall be home. What a joy that will be. Oh, and my Savior I see in that beauty of city of gold. Oh, the bear will be Jew. And the wolf will be tame, and the lion shall lay down by the lamb. Oh, yeah, and the beast will be led by a child, and I'll be changed. Change from this creature that I am. Oh, oh, there will be peace in the valley for me. Oh, there will be peace in the valley for me. That No more sad, no more trouble, I'll see, and there will be peace in the valley for me. Our invisible king this morning will be made manifest. Now we'll look upon Bill Dow at 90 years old. You won't look upon me as 50. <laughs> but I'll be changed that day. Amen. And by the beast from the wild will be led by a child. But I'll be changed. Changed from this creature that I am. Won't you be glad? Amen. Gray hairs will be gone on the stooped shoulders. But beauty, immortal, will stand in its likeness. Sun, thou shine. <laughs> Wonderful. For me, O oh Lord, I pray, there'll be no sadness, no more sorrow, no more trouble I'll see. And there will be peace in the valley for oh, that's what we're here for. How many of you need strength for the journey? God grant it to us. How many of you sick in your body? Wounded soldiers. A dozen or more. You believe it's here, the invisible king? Things visible, invisible, are made manifest by the visible. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, only the corporal body. Now, if this is his spirit that's preached this through me, he'll do the works that he did when he was here. Oh, how wonderful. I am bound for the promised land. I am bound for the promised land. Oh, Those wide extended plains shine one eternal day. There God the sun forever reigns and scatters night.
cry, away. Oh, I am bound for the promised land. walking into the river yonder the first day the angel of the Lord appeared visible to vindicate like he did on Mount Sinai and I'd met him I walked into the river and hundreds singing that same song for the baptism here he comes let's just send him that same pillar of fire that you see the picture there descending down right down here at the river and said as John the Baptist was sent to forerun his first coming message will forerun the second coming. <laughs> oh, who will come and go with me? I am for the That same pillar of fire is here with us. Are you aware of it? He has made some of us for one thing and some another. If you are without one doubt, Believe that he's in the midst of the building. I believe he'll prove himself to you. Will it satisfy you? If I don't get to everyone, it's going on two o'clock. But if you're it's a little after one, rather. If you'll believe, let him ascend down upon us. Where is our faith? You got to believe that. If you don't doubt it one bit, it's going to work. I, I recognize the divine presence of the being of Christ who is the Word. And the Bible said the Word is powerful in a two-edged sword and it cuts to the mire of the bone and discerns the thoughts that it's in the heart revealing the secret of the heart. Look why I didn't know those things years ago. And when I said it not knowing it Look what he's done. He said, now you'll take the people by their hand. And don't think nothing. Just speak what attributes told you. Say it's tumor, whatever it is. Then said it'll come to pass that you won't have to do that. It will discern the very thing that's in them. We've had all kinds of impersonations. We know that. Almost to deceive the elected if possible. Watch how the rest of the thing goes with the word. Then you know where it's right or not. But still, Jesus remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. How many in here that's sick and knows I don't know you? Raise up your hand. Say, I, I know you don't know me. What's this? I guess everywhere. The only thing you have to do is just believe it. Oh. said, as it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be when the Son of Man will be revealed upon the earth in the last days. When the Son of Man shall be revealed. Or reveal himself in the last days. Not, not the former days, the middle days, the last days. He would reveal. And now we're in the last days. Sodom sets just exactly everything. The messengers just alike. What happened to the the little remnant was called out with Abraham's group? There was one come among them in human flesh, representing human flesh, eating with them, drinking with them, same food that they eat, everything. He stood among them, told the message. Then he said, I'm going to do this great thing. And Abraham kept studying. Is this it? 
I've been looking for a city. Is this the king? And he said, Why did Sarah doubt this in the tent behind him? Abraham said, Lord God, Elohim. Because he discerned Sarah's thoughts. Jesus said it would repeat again when he would be revealed in the last days. The headstone coming into the body to redeem the... That's to redeem coming to take his own. He's here with us. Now, it's only about a dozen hands or more went up. I believe that God can heal every one of you. Right? I believe you are. I don't believe that a person really could sit in a place like this without, in this kind of time, in this atmosphere, without knowing and recognizing something. I want you to pray. I want you to get what's wrong with you in, in, in your heart. See? And then begin to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, reveal this. I'm, I'm speaking to you. What's wrong with me? And now, you send your Holy Spirit to Brother Branham to fulfill what he said to be the truth. In this message that he's talked today about you, I know it'll be the truth. Now reveal it to me, Lord. Speak to me. Now, it's scattered, coming kind of here and around. So just pray. And yet just believe with all your heart that God will grant it. Now, I want you to look at me and pray. Just as Peter and John said, look on us. He wanted something, and he's just about to receive it. And you want something, and I believe you're just about to receive it. He said, look on us. He said, silver and gold, I don't have any. But such as I have, I'll give you. Now, healing, I don't have any. That's all in Christ. But such as I have, a gift of God, give I thee. Faith to believe him. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every one of you be healed. Believe him. If thou canst believe. A little lady sitting there looking at me. She's crying a few minutes ago, praying. She's got thyroid troubles bothering her. I don't know you. You're a stranger to me. That is true, isn't it? You're not from here. You're from Chicago. This is Alexandra. That's right. Wave your hand. I go back to Chicago and be well. What does she touch? Same thing that woman with the blood issue touched. The border of his garment, not mine. There's a little lady sitting right down among the crowd, if I can make her to understand me. You have raised your head sideways. I don't know you. You're a stranger to me, but you're suffering with a stomach trouble. Your husband sits next to you. He has something wrong with his ear. Your name is Zap. You're strangers to me. You're not from here. You're from Michigan. That's right. Wave your hands. Go back to Michigan well. Your faith makes you whole. If thou canst believe, all things are possible. Little lady there with throat trouble sitting right back here on the end from Georgia, dressed in white. Go back down, Georgia, well. Jesus Christ makes you well. Do you believe it? Lady sitting there looking at me, running into the seat. She got sinus trouble. She'll believe it. God will heal her. Miss Brown, believe with all your heart. Jesus Christ, man. You're a stranger to me, but he knows you. You believe it? Raise up your hand. That's right. Laying here on this cot. Tell her look over here. She's been suffering going on. If I could heal her, I'd do it, sir. I can't heal. She's not here come a long way. 
You're from Missouri. Your troubles are internal. But if you'll believe with all your heart and don't doubt, Jesus Christ is healing. You can go back to Missouri well and give your testimony. You believe it? And accept it and take your cot and go home. Jesus Christ will make you well. Do you believe? That's the identification of the eternal King's presence. Do you believe it now with all your heart? Now he certainly made a ring right around through this building. Do you believe it with all your heart you believe you're in his presence? Now, you believe and accept that you're one of the delegation of this kingdom? Raise your hand. Jesus said, These signs shall follow them that believe. If they lay their hands on the sick, they shall recover. We are one another. You're part of me. I'm part of you. We're all part of Christ. Now, together, let's lay our hands on each other. The woman on the cots got up, moving around, going back home to be well. Amen. You're everyone healed if you believe it. Now, put your hands on one another, and you are this part of Christ. You pray for the person you got your hands on, just the way you want to. Lord Jesus, we recognize you here. You're our King. You identify yourself among us. We thank you for this presence. And Lord, you said, if you say to this mountain, be moved, don't doubt it. Believe what you said will come to pass. You can have it. You can have what you said. Then, in obedience to this commandment, in obedience to the Word of God, which cannot fail, we, as your delegates from 1,500 miles square, like the city, we say to Satan, the defeated devil, you're in this to be burned. We are the delegation from the city. It's four square. The city where the Lamb is alive. We are the expressed attributes of God Almighty, who Jesus Christ has redeemed by His grace. Satan, come out and leave every sick person that's in here. In the name of Jesus Christ, holy hands has been redeemed because they believe the Word and are attributes of God's thought. Now, them hands is upon each other. You cannot hold them any longer. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, He's here. His Word says He's here. Your presence and your face speaks of you're one of the delegation. Even ever geographically measure that we can show it is. Can you recognize that you're redeemed sons and daughters of God? Do you recognize this is your home? This is where you're going. That's why you come here. That's why you come to Christ. You're feeding on His Word. And if you can have a time like this here, just by His expressed attributes, what will it be when we come into His presence? Oh, it'll be wonderful. Each one of you has a right to heal the sick. Lay your hands up on the sick. Each one of you has a right to baptize. If somebody sure has not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the pool's open. That's the only way you're going to make it. That's right. It's to obey every word. Remember, one little phase of the Word in the beginning caused every sin on earth. Jesus said, Whosoever shall take one word away from this, or add one word to it, won't go in. His name's off the book as soon as it does. And there's no place in the Bible where anybody was ever baptized in the church otherwise than in the name of Jesus Christ. If you haven't been baptized that way, you better do it. Or said, don't make any difference. It did to Eve. Satan said, oh, surely God, you know God... But he did. He said so. He gave Peter the keys to the kingdom. And what was bound at Pentecost is bound forever. That's the reason the bride coming to review the second time, there has to be a church called out of the latter day like it was in the first day. This is like the trees come from its roots up to the bride tree like it did in that time. God's masterpiece again, as I said two Sundays ago, to be taken to the city. God bless you. I now believe. Satan is defeated. He knows he's on the earth. He's going like a roaring lion. It isn't long till he's oh, he's finished. He knows his time. He's going like a roaring lion. But remember, the Prince of Peace stands by. Amen. The great divine one, the architect of my being, the architect who built me what I am, who built you what you are, is here. If the architect, who knows how to put the building together in its right place, who knows better than the architect? And he's sure to prove himself, he's sure. Now it's based upon your faith. Believe. Only believe. 
I'm bound for that beautiful city my Lord has prepared for his own, where all the redeemed of all ages will sing Gloria round my throne. Sometimes I go homesick for heaven. Well, this is all over. And the glory I there behold. Oh, what a joy that will be when my Savior I see in that beautiful city of Remember, at the church tonight, they'll be giving communion. If you're here in the city yet, would like to come? We'd like to have you. It's a memorial of what we're going to eat one of these days with him. I love you. I don't know how to express it. I think you're the salt of the earth. And I hear your behavior out amongst the world. And that gives me more confidence in you. But think this little group will be lovely as we are. We'll be broken up on these days. We'll dream of this. But if one of us happens to pass away before we meet again, we'll... I will meet you in the morning by the bright river side. When all sorrows has dribbled in. I'll be standing by the port of when the gates open wide at the close of life's long weary day. I will meet you in the morning by the bright riverside. I'm lost in the by the river and with rapture old acquaintance renew I'll see you I know you you will know me in the morning by the smile that I wear I will meet you in the morning in the city that is built or square. You love it? Yeah, we meet now. Let's stand. Take the name of Jesus with you. Give us a call. You love him? Isn't he wonderful? Do you believe this is truth? Are you headed that way by the grace of God? Until we get there, you take the name of Jesus with you. As a shield from every snare. And when temptations around you gather, just breathe that holy name in prayer. That's all to do until we see you again, all right? Take the name of Jesus with Someday, the Lord willing, I'll come back and take these avenues and pick it up, see, before we can have more time. You've been hollering about not staying long enough. We have today. It's hot. But now, God bless you. I like that singing. A neighbor here said the other night when they turned the outside speaker off, said, I enjoyed the message so much, but why did you turn that pretty singing off? 
see, on the outside. So, neighbor, if you're listening in this morning, I think we got the best neighbors there is in Jeffersonville. We park our cars in front of their houses and everything else. They don't say nothing about it. We just go on. So we're thinking, oh, how wonderful he is. God be with you now. Name. Dismiss this just in a few moments. God be with you. We meet at Jesus' feet. That's the great city at the throne. We meet. Shall we meet? God be 
marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, 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 Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, 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 Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. Over to Jerusalem, 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 Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, 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 oh Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Kerela boleh lawan nama dimu, mudi marah sofa je. Jadi lelum orang tahu apa lah melo, enten Rafisa mahu tunggu orang selalu kecik. So kita malah Rafisile pelajar tu nyata lelu arena. And then uh, Brady Baylor, any? We are marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. 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 Réalité-mère-chakamou. <coughs> Nurawa salogo na ba ba na this place muri kulo inja ba na ba nurubu cha urawa le strande terkhono ba na rakaba tu shabiang kurwa khono ya le nyalo so I think that was the main thing ye verzna kwa ipitisha mara na sofa ching kina na kujela if I still remember kina inotlo koka moka kiki chervus yeah I think na kujela ki apele kina inotlo kulo kumpu malanga kina inotlo Reale bu, hari ini nampi cerita tu orang rapeling, mana nak reale bu, hari reale bu kawan nampi timu aka, ulur pepayu ala kawan nampi kau, ala kau dinchunya nampi timu, cewa khusyir dia berjam mahu jalan orang di fepe, khusyir reale bu kawan jua kau, reale tu orang kawan ara aga angkor ma felelong, reale tu orang di stage of a perfect man, mahu nampi timu, okal tulang kau reina, reale tu orang reale tu orang ala kau mnyal orang kau, kalau boleh jua re. Chachile Munyala at Mawai Tseba, the rapture will take place. Mudima can level it at the moment. Moka Munga Nagarnaka will not fit at the same standard, Rafita Munga the same condition. Mudima Karengor come up hither. Rabayuala Kare, Mudima, Mudima Abia Bulela Le Johan, Rubona Ria Repsha Remore. Rao Kupela Tata Vishita Oveli Reina, Tauru Uru Sokomele Uru Shireleche Mudima, Rasa mahaya ngari na sebelah lerna mudi cile murai na rebolo ke kata lima muka muka mahabe rebolo ke lewu wasa bisinya aw macam cingala telang rokopela curi tadi lewu lewu ah batu wasa ya biar kanya mahaya tu aku amanya lo mudi mu sebelah lewu anak wasi religi mudi ciling curi tera rokopela lewu lewu ah di nene perla kerjeso amen God bless
Rile bogile bana mara na muri maro sofa jeng. Kau kavali pina e kabangona to dismiss us, propeleleng and then God bless you till we meet. Malika mo jale kaliwa keli rato la chesu liri poti kamo li kamo li kamo jale kaliwa keli rato la chesu liri poti kamo li kamo.